Hey guys, today we will be showing you how to change your paths in Daz Studio. Many people choose to do this because they are running out of room on their C drive, which is the default drive that Daz Studio and the Daz Install Manager install to. So let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that you'll want to do is open up the Daz Install Manager. And from here you will want to go to the settings, it's that gear icon in the top right corner. Go to the Downloads tab and you'll see this path listed next to Download 2. Go to the drive that you want to move your content to and you're going to want to create this path. You can do that by right clicking, New, Folder. I'm going to name this folder Users. Within that Users folder you will want to create another folder named public and then within that public folder create another one named documents and then keep going for that whole path Okay, now you'll see that you have that path on your new drive. So go back to the install manager and then you're going to want to click these three dots right here and we're going to set that new path. And then you'll see that this has saved and you're going to want to click accept down here. Go back into the settings now you're going to want to go into the installation tab right now we're going to go ahead and change these paths and this path again you're going to need to go ahead and create a programs file and then a programs file x86 folder All right, now for this path down here, you already have that users folder and the public and documents. So you just need to create a MyDaz 3D library folder in here. And again, you'll want to go ahead and on the right side, click that dot, dot, dot. And then for this path, you'll need to click add in the bottom left hand corner. You'll want to name the path, so mine will be OneDrive. Then go ahead and go to that path on your OneDrive or on your external drive. And then you can delete this folder by highlighting it and then clicking that minus button. Again, you'll want to click accept in the bottom right hand corner to save this. Now you'll want to go into Daz Studio. And if you haven't already installed that, you'll want to install it after changing your paths. And then you'll need to open up Daz Studio and change your paths in Daz Studio. To do this, Go ahead and go to edit in the top left hand corner, preferences, we're going to expand this a little bit and then go into content, content directory manager and open up Daz Studio formats and poser formats. You can do this by clicking that little plus sign on the left hand side of it. And then you'll want to add the path here. And the path that you're going to add here is the one that you just created in the installation tab in the Daz Install Manager. To do this, go ahead and highlight Daz Studio Formats, click Add on the left hand side, 
Then go to Users, Public, Documents, MyDAS 3D Library. And then you're going to want to do the same for Poser Formats. And if you don't have any content installed, you are going to see this error. Just go ahead and click yes. If you'd like to delete your other Midas 3D library path, just go ahead, highlight the path, and then click remove. And then you'll want to click accept in the bottom right hand corner. And then you can go ahead and just exit out of that path. And your paths are all changed. You can go ahead and in the install manager, just install your content. It will install to your external drive. Um, if you do have any questions, you can go ahead and email into tech support and we will assist you um, and see if anything went wrong in adding the paths. As a final note, we do highly suggest that you keep Daz Studio on your C drive. In the video, I did show you how to change it, um, but we do, again, recommend that it is kept on your C drive. Again, a lot of people don't have this space, so we do show you how to change that path. Thanks for watching, guys, and be on the lookout for more videos soon.